Hey, Kirk Yockey here in the Fox 31 Denver newsroom on this fine Monday morning. Hope your Monday's off to a good start. Ooh, it's Cyber Monday. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. It's exciting stuff, right, Brooke? Ooh. Hi, Brooke. What you said. Hi. How you doing? Happy Cyber Monday. I did. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. Lots of turkey. So, uh, we'll talk about Cyber Monday in a bit, but uh, some of the other big stories that we're following today. A uh, bit of a travel mess out at the uh, Denver airport. Uh, I'm sure you noticed all the fog here in Denver yesterday. Well, that caused a lot of flights to be canceled and delayed. Of course, there's uh, weather situations out east causing the trickle-down effect coming back here to Denver. So that's causing a lot of problems and delays as well. And uh, we've got Greg Nieto filling in this morning. He's going to be out at the airport talking about uh, what the situation is now. Also, um, Denver Broncos, go Broncos. Did you catch the game last night? Ran late, probably ended about, uh, what, 9, 9.30, something like that. And uh, they beat the Chiefs. They really owned the Chiefs. Man, that was a good game to watch. Uh, Broncos really took control of that game, which is nice. It's good to see... Uh, the Broncos back in action. You know, they've had a few games where they were struggling, and now they seem to be back. We'll be talking more about the Broncos and uh, as they get ready to play the Bills next here in Denver. Uh, you know, the season's winding down here, and this is the time when they've got to make sure they've got the good record to seal the deal for the playoffs and, and, and move in that direction. Go Broncos. Uh, also, oh, you know, think about this. All the toys that your kids have, which ones are the most dangerous? Which ones cause the most injuries? Well, guess what? It's those Razor scooters. If you have kids, you know how popular those things are. Every kid seems to have one, and uh, apparently they're they're pretty dangerous when it comes to injuries. So we'll have uh, some of those numbers, that new study with the information about that. And also Cyber Monday. It's exciting stuff. Do you shop at work on Cyber Monday? Did you know your boss shops at work on Cyber Monday? Oh, yeah. We've got the, the, the new study, of course, just in time for Cyber Monday, is everyone searching out all those deals. The new study that shows what percentage of bosses are actually shopping. So if they're yelling at you for shopping, then they go back into their office and shop. Uh, so it's a fun day, you know, if you're searching for deals. Even though it's become like Cyber Week, you know, Cyber Monday almost isn't a thing anymore because there's so much Cyber Monday stuff going on. And, Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. It's interesting how it works out. And finally, uh, vinyl. Vinyl records are seeing the best sales they've seen in 20 years. So a lot of people are going back to buying vinyl. This is kind of interesting, more kind of a retro throwback thing. And uh, so it got us to thinking, what was the last vinyl record that you've purchased? Has it been something recent or has it been a while ago? Well, I thought back, you know, it's been a while, and, and, and uh, even, you know, I, vinyl wasn't around much when I was growing up, but it was when I was young, and this is the last vinyl record I bought. Billy Ocean! There it is! Sorry. It is what it is. I was probably six years old. I bought the single to get out of my dreams, get into my car on vinyl record. It's the last vinyl I remember buying. So what's the last vinyl you've ever purchased? I'd love to know. Comment below. We will see you on TV 5 to 9 on Fox 31 Denver. Happy Cyber Monday, everybody. Do a little bit of work today. I know you're going to shop. Do a little bit of work. Maybe 20%, 30%. Get some work done. We'll see you on TV.